The ultra gel the nurse is placing on the patient's skin allows us to see the baby and listen to its heartbeat by transmitting ultrasound waves. So how does the chemistry of this gel allow this? Ultrasound gel is a water-based gel, a hydrogel, which contains acrylic acid and oil, preventing air bubbles from forming between the gel and the skin to achieve a perfect sound transmission. Taking into account it is also placed on the patient's skin, it also contains chemicals such as propylene glycol, which is an oil used for cosmetic purposes to avoid irritation. Every baby uses an average of 10 diapers a day for two years. This is an average of 7,300 diapers. Diapers need chemistry to improve its absorbent and flexibility properties. Diapers contain an absorbent pad, which is a sheet that comes into contact with the baby. To be able to have the most absorbent pad possible, the newest chemistry consists of super absorbent chemical sodium polyacrylate. As shown in this video, sodium acrylate and acrylic acid join, allowing the diaper to absorb 30 times its weight in water. The incomplete cross-linking between units, which is 50 to 70 percent of carboxylic groups, are converted into sodium salts. Typical cross-linkages create dye to try acrylate esters. New advances regarding diapers are that companies are now trying to make the diapers as biodegradable as possible. Supplementary food allows children to have a more complete diet and allows them to grow into strong and healthy adults. Chemists work to guarantee the best supplementary food to incorporate in children's diets. Substances like wheat, corn or peas are the base of the supplementary food, which contains calcium, iron, magnesium and phosphorus, as well as proteins, sugars and starch, which will make this child grow fast, strong, combined with vitamins such as vitamin A, B6, C and K, ensuring this child's diet is complete. This teen is using his phone without being aware of the chemistry behind it. Batteries work by connecting a cell containing zinc to a cell containing copper both in salt solution. Zinc and copper lose two electrons and since zinc has a higher tendency of losing them, the copper ion gets reduced to copper metal. Overall, this releases 1.1 volts. So, what do you think about doing about your latex allergy? I've been thinking of taking the contraceptive pill. The pill? You don't even know what's in it. Um, well, I looked it up and I found out that it contains synthetic estrogen and progesterone, um, which are hormones found in the body that chemists are manufacturing things synthetically. Um, I found out there are two types of progesterone, which are norepinephrine and levodrosterone. There's also two types of estrogen. Is it so what? Estrogens, ethanol, estradiol, and mestranol. Plain English, please, but it sounds like you know what you're doing. I'm happy for you. And when you hope that your cream containing the magical tretinoin will be able to slow down skin aging and remove all your wrinkles, or the minoxidil that is supposed to allow you to regain all the hair volume you had when you were 17. Have you ever considered how much time and effort cosmetic chemistry has spent to come up with these unique molecules?